When we look back at some of our favorite moments of The Jeffersons, we can see it was one of the few shows that managed to mix humor with serious issues. They seemed like a family, sometimes dysfunctional, but always managing to stick together. But the Jefferson cast hid huge secrets from the cameras. Nevertheless, these challenges didn't hold the show back, and it still managed to become a huge success. Join Facts First to learn about how the Jefferson cast hid huge secrets from the camera. Sherman Hemsley's Beginnings George Jefferson couldn't have been played by anyone else but Sherman Hemsley, and this great character was created because of his personal life experiences. As the theme song makes clear, the characters were moving on up as they came from nothing and became something great, finally getting their piece of the pie. Sherman Hemsley was born in February of 1938 in South Philadelphia. He was raised by his mother, who was a factory worker, and he didn't meet his father until his teens. He dropped out of high school and served in the U.S. Air Force, and upon his return, he worked at the post office while studying acting in the evenings. His life wasn't easy. Being a postal worker was exhausting and the pay was little. He had to muster the energy to study acting and he struggled to find work. He had a few bit parts and recurring roles on TV, but he wasn't cast in The Jeffersons until he was almost 40. But the show made him a star and he continued to work regularly until his death in 2012. He was a rather private person and little was known about the struggles he had to go through to become the actor he became. But his struggles throughout his life is what made him a great actor and is what made him perfect for the role of George Jefferson. Franklin Cover Struggles like Sherman Hemsley, Franklin Cover also had many struggles in his life to become a successful actor. He played Tom Willis, who was married to Helen Willis, played by actress Roxy Roker. This couple was one of the first interracial couples seen on American TV. As a result, Franklin was doing his part to not only play a great character, but also make history. The Willis family lived next to the Jeffersons, so they were also a wealthy couple. But Franklin Cover came from modest beginnings and was still struggling during his time on the show. The Jeffersons was the first show in which he had a starring role, and before that, he mostly worked on stage. He would take the bus to the set, and often his co-star, Roxy Roker, would drive him back to his rental property. She even joked that he was the, quote, black woman's burden. It's perhaps these struggles that made him perfect for the role, being able to portray a likable character and one whom you could count on as a great friend. Cover had a few guest appearances and smaller roles in TV following his role on The Jeffersons. He also had a few notable roles in feature films. These included The Stepford Wives, Wall Street, Brain Donors, and and almost heroes. He died in 2006 at age 77. Isabel Sanford becomes a star. Like her co-stars, Isabel Sanford also struggled to become an actress and her efforts truly paid off. For her role as Louise Jefferson, she became the first black actress to win a Best Lead Actress award at the Emmys. She was born the youngest of seven kids, and despite her mother's wishes, she decided to pursue a career as an actress. She would perform in local nightclubs and became an accomplished singer and stage actress. She began her film career in the 60s when she acted in a role in the now classic feature film Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. At the same time, she had bit parts and small roles on TV shows. Her journey to fame was slow, but once she was cast as Louise, her career took off, even though she was almost 60 at the time. She was lauded for her role by her colleagues, critics, and audiences alike. She often made cameos as Louise Jefferson in other shows, often alongside Sherman Hemsley playing George. She continued to have a successful television career, as well as acting in films after the show. She continues to be recognized as one of the great black actresses of all time and one who paved the way for future generations. Isabel Sanford died in 2004 at age 86. Meeting an old friend one of the biggest successes of the Jeffersons was that the cast wasn't afraid to act in stories that were controversial. Norman Lear, the creator of the show, often used his shows to push social change and discuss uncomfortable topics. If he felt buttons needed to be pushed, he used his shows to push them. There was one episode called Once a Friend, in which George reunites with one of his old Navy buddies. His friend was named Eddie, but now goes by Edie. His friend underwent a sex change and became transgender. This wasn't the first time a transgender character was shown on television, but The Jeffersons was one of the first shows to have an episode dedicated to understanding this relatively new phenomenon that few Americans knew about and many didn't understand. In the episode, George tried to understand why Eddie became Edie, and this sensitive subject was dealt with respectfully and with humor. Today, so many sitcoms want to address difficult subjects, but they do so almost with a sense of rage and without knowing how to be humorous and mature about it. George meets the Klan 
Perhaps one of the finest episodes of any American sitcom was the episode where the building where the Jeffersons live have a rat problem. George goes to a meeting that Tom invites him to, thinking it's a discussion on how to get rid of the, quote, scum in the building. To his shock, they are told this meeting is a meeting of the KKK. The leader of the Klan group hurls racial slurs towards George that today's TV executive would want to censor. The language is no doubt disturbing, but it was necessary to tackle the ugliness of racism in America. The episode also managed to use humor to explore a dark subject in American life. It also showed how even someone with hate could walk away and lead a better life. It also showed the decency of George Jefferson when he saves the Klan leader's life by performing CPR on it. This episode is perhaps not easy to watch, but it's arguably one of the best episodes of the show. Props should be given to the excellent Jefferson's cast members for appearing in such a chilling but important episode. The Legacy of the Jefferson's Cast while the Jefferson's cast hid their struggles from the camera, they managed to create an iconic sitcom despite them. Sherman Hemsley and Isabel Sanford especially became legends after the show ended. They often appeared together in sitcoms as themselves, most notably in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Sherman even had an appearance in the song Batter Up by Nelly and the Saint Lunatics. Isabel Sanford won roles in hit films, such as Original Gangsters. Marla Gibbs, who played Florence, kept her day job for much of the show as she wasn't sure if it would be a success. No doubt Norman Lear had to hide many of the fights he had off-camera to create episodes that discussed challenging topics. But despite these secrets and struggles, The Jeffersons was a hit, and we thank the show's creator and fantastic cast for it. The show ran for 11 seasons and 253 episodes. It didn't have a proper series finale, but despite that, the characters and the stories have never left us. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of The Jeffersons? What's your favorite episode? Who's your favorite character? Let us know in the comments section below.